hello and uh, welcome to my channel where today we're going to be playing some more I think you can see what we're playing today some more uh, Train Sim World 2 um, so what we'll do is I thought today we'll carry on with my little series of videos this will be number four for the um, train routes and trains at night time I haven't really thought of a snappy name that, that is the snappy name for it train oh. That is the snappy name for it. Train routes and trains at night time in the dark, sometimes with snow. There you go, that's my snappy name. I probably need work, you know, to work on that title a little bit more. So let's choose a route, let's get started, and then we'll do all the welcomes. Now, so far I have done three, and I've done um, American, London, no, I done so yeah okay so i've done a british a german and a, we'll do london commuter it is my favorite so let's do that so as always what i'm going to do is let's i'm gonna have a little bit of snow again because i like having a bit of snow and i've since worked out we won't have too much snow we won't go crazy on the snow let's go two-thirds let's go two-thirds snow and we'll pick um we'll pick the uh, gatwick express and we'll find a nice nighttime run in the dark, and then we can um, let's get all the way down through the timetable. Sorry for this. I should be better prepared, really, shouldn't I? But there you go. That's that's my channel all over. No preparation whatsoever. Let's do Gatwick to London, Victoria. Is that one a little bit later? There's a few. Yeah, let's do this one. Gatwick to half nine. That should be good, shouldn't it? That should be well and truly dark. So we'll do that, we'll do a nice run, and then when we come into uh, Victoria, um, that should all be lit up and look, it gives us a good chance to, to see the route. Okay, so we'll get started, and then we'll do all the hellos. The hellos and good days. Oh, look at that, a little bit of light snow. Hold on, it's loading the textures in. Okay, let's get the key on, let's put it in thing, and let's unlock the doors. Okay, and then we'll have a little, oh, put the lights on. Uh, lights, no lights, headlights on night running okay and we've got a couple of minutes to wait here so we can have a little around there we go okay uh so hello and welcome to our well, this looks nice i kind of knew the newer routes would look nicer but this does look good so we will have to do like the boston sprinter and the dresden one at night as well won't we again for i mean i bought some more routes as well okay we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a minute so i'm already distracted <laughs> if you've come here expecting any sort of planning you really are in the wrong place uh, hello and welcome. It's it's nice to see you. If you are a returning visitor, uh, thank you for returning. I do appreciate that. Uh, um, I will assume you found something you enjoyed in this channel, and that's why you're back. If you are a new visitor to my channel, you are, of course, equally as welcome. It's certainly lovely to see new faces all the time. Um, it, my channel is just me. I'm a, a more mature gentleman who enjoys playing video games. He finds himself with lots of time on his hands. And so because of that, he plays video games with that time. So completely wastes the time that he has. Well, is it a waste if I'm enjoying it? Probably not. Um, the games I'm playing, for those that are new, are mostly this, which is Trains in World 2, and Sudoku on the Nintendo Switch, where I'm trying to finish all the puzzles online. OK, there you go. I think that's everything, isn't it? I don't profess to be the best at games. I'm saying not the best at games, but oh, here's something else coming in. Oh, there we go, look. Hello. Okay, let's close these doors and get ready to, to rock and roll. So what this is, for, for, and I'll, I'll put a link to the first video up near the start, is just uh, I thought I'd run through all the... I, I like the routes at night time. So I, I, A, I prefer the commuter routes. There are lots of different routes in this game. Commuter routes, haulage routes, old-fashioned there's even a steam engine route um, I like the commuter routes for the stop and go and picking people up um, and I also prefer playing the nighttime routes I, I, I can't even I, I can't even begin to tell you why it's just what I prefer it looks very good doesn't it so I thought what we'd do is I thought I'd do a few videos and this is all speeding already <laughs> this is like every video now 
it's kind of become my default position to start the video with speeding. So uh, um, I thought because I prefer doing videos in the night time and looking at, see the aeroplane coming in there, see it? Because uh, it's with Gatwick, of course. Because I prefer that, uh, um, I thought I'd you know, do a few of the different routes and, and see how they measured up at night time. Um, and this is one of the more newer routes. This came out last year. So A, it should appear a little bit busier, but also that very much looks like England. Uh, but also it's, um, let's jump in for a little bit. It's a bit cold out there, isn't it? But also, oh no, let's jump out for the station so we can see the station. We're not stopping at this station. In fact, this looks, it looks like a direct train. I suppose, hence the term Gatwick Express. So I thought I would, um, you know, look at them all at night time. And we, we've looked at three others and this is the fourth route we're looking at. Um, and I expect this to be one of the better routes. Although there are some newer routes like the Harlem line, which I uh, bought, it was recently on a sale. And the Sorrento ramp, which is another German route, which was also recently on sale. So um, I expect those would be even, even better because they, you know, they've got another year more experience or six months more experience. I mean, that's the thing. They designed the game engine and they, and they all were, well, I think they use the Unreal game engine, I think, but they designed the game and then, you know, obviously they, they improve from experience. You get better. When you, the more you do something, the better you get it. So the idea of these is to take a look at the night, look at the night. Oh, I meant to put some clouds on, actually, a few more clouds. We'll, um, we'll do that later. We're on the next route, the next run. We'll do a German one next, as well, a German route. Just don't ask me to pronounce it. So the idea, have a look at the train, have a look at the night, compare the route, see which is the best nighttime route. It just seemed like a a fun thing to do. Not really sure why now. But it is fun. So this is this is light snow. A light dusting of snow. You can hear some background noise. Sounds like someone talking which is quite uh, spooky. So anyhow, the, the newer routes or, or more recent routes, I was looking at, um, what did I play the other day? I played Long Island Railroad. Now Long Island Railroad is about three, year, three or four years old now, that route. So it's been out a number of, um, you know, number of years, whereas this route's been out only you know, a year. It came out you know, this time last year, or a little bit later maybe. So you expect, you expect there to be, you can see the colour popping into the trees, can't you, look? You can see the colour popping into the trees. Um, so as you'd expect, it's, well, we need to look in, um, on the top right, it's telling me, look, in 1.1 mile, I have to be at 80 miles an hour, so I'll just come off the accelerator. Down the bottom right, it's telling me, for those who don't know the game at all, it's telling me, look, you're going up an incline, 0.4% incline, so it's, a, so it's a little bit steep. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, that's quite spooky. Um, so just by easing off the accelerator, we might know. So I'm going to apply a little bit of brake. I don't want to. I've already oversped once. I don't want to do it again. So I just apply a little bit of brake, get us down to 79, and we're all right. Let's look at this station in the night. So the mixture of sort of platform lights. That looks good, doesn't it? There's a lot of people hanging around for half nine in the evening. Yeah, so I played Long Island Road Road, which definitely, you know, it looks, you know, it, hey, it's, it's a three or four year old route. You can definitely see with the newer routes how, how, how dovetail, and obviously their, their staff who create these um, routes for us to play, you can see how the routes improved. Let's get down and have a look at the train. Let's see who's on the train today. We've got one hoodie already, and a puffer jacket, and a silver shirt, or a, is it a silver, yeah, black shirt? He might be going in a, in a London, but I think the old black shirt, another hoodie. I, I, that red top, I see, I see that a lot in Boston, I don't know why, it's just, it's just random. So whenever I see that, I always think it's a Boston 
outfit and everyone in Boston would be wearing that. Oh, there you go, that's quite loud, isn't it? Oh, isn't, isn't the rule never wear stripes? Let's go and have a look up close. Oh, it's like a, like a sports jacket. High neck. Oh, I quite like it. I don't know the, the stripes on it. Green stripes are not always um, particularly flattering. I love I, I, I love putting the little attention to detail. You might have seen it there. If we look in the uh, if we look at the side of the train, you see the reflection there. There's another train going past, you can see it in the distance there. You can see that they come off there, you can see the reflection. If you look along the side of the train and the glass, now that's that's good attention to detail. Don't really help us study the night, but okay. So what do we think of the train at night? Well, it looks brighter there. It looked a bit dark back here. Well, maybe it's just... Looks nice and bright here in the carriage, doesn't it? Uh, there's the toilet. Is that out of the toilet? I, I do like this train. And, and those who've been here before will know I do like the... Um, a, as I said earlier, the commuter routes and the commuter trains, but also the electric, you know, trains, the more sort of modern era trains. I, I definitely know that there's a big fan base of the old diesel engines, and I can see the appeal, but my preference is these modern electric. Oh, oh, look at this in the dark. That's good, isn't it? It definitely seems a bit darker in in parts that's good in the dark let's cut the front let's say hello to uh, the driver let's say hello to Shabat Samar who's my driver so we're just going through this tunnel now I'm not sure where we would be I suppose 10 miles in Shabat Samar there it would probably help if I put there must be a cab line here up here. Shoes up now. I, I know what the shoes up does. Is it there? No, there's the cab line. Door closed. Oh, 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 goodness gracious me. Door closed. Door. Well, let's, let's get outside. Right, let's see if we can find. Wiper off. Yeah, I did warn you I'm not, I'm not the best at games. Notice board light, signals, notice board light. Oh, okay, that will help a bit, I suppose, in case we go in another tunnel. So what's... signal? Oh, okay. I didn't even know it did that. How good is that? It's like an old-fashioned bus. No. None of those do anything. There'll be another, there'll be a light for the cab door. No. Got to be a, a light so that Shabbat Samar can see what he's doing. I'm not sure what manual su suppression is. Suppression sounds some sort of like a brake thing to me. So I'm going to guess cab light. Yes. Okay. Let's get outside now. Well, that's quite unimpressive, isn't it? This side's lovely and lit up. That's quite unimpressive. Hello Shabbat Tamar anyhow, I'm sorry. And we can't see you properly today because um, it's quite casual with the old polo shirt. Yeah, I like it. I like it. He's the man. He really is the man. Okay, let's uh let's do the nighttime route not admiring young Shabbat Tamar there. Okay, so twelve miles are all speeding again. So I lose points for that, you know, towards your overall score. Well, when I say lose, it, it doesn't give me the score. You get points for every, I, I honestly don't know, 100 yards, 200 yards, it's got to be 100 yards. It's probably something like five, 500 yards. I should look it up. I say that a lot in these videos as well. I should look it up. I should do some research and you get points. And if you do a stretch, say it's 500 yards, 
if you do that stretch without, you know, within the speed limit, you get 30 points. Uh, if you go over the speed limit just a little bit, you get 15 points. And if, if it goes red, the dial, you get zero points. So it affects your overall score. So it's not so much you lose points, but you miss the opportunity. The train go past, yeah. You lose the opportunity. So here we go. Let's look at this station at night. And it's good, doesn't it? I do like that. Yeah, I do like that. So yeah, it does affect your score. And of course, being a, a um, I don't know, a, 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 it's really a gaming thing where you really want to get gold on everything, you know. So just give it a score, a medal, a badge, a, 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 a whatever. And it's, it's medals on this game. We've got another station here to look at. Let's look at this. I, I think this room is very, uh, I think this route is very attractive at night, if I'm honest. Let's see what we we'll do. We'll stick above the cab for a minute and just get like a, just above the cab for you. We'll leave it there for a minute or two just to get a feel for the drivers. I don't like the view inside the cab as much because it's quite a small window. We'll get a view for what the driver would kind of see. Did we just pass this church? I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. We're going through the same, going through the same town again and again. That, that was quite a blue car, wasn't it? One thing I like about this route, London commuter route, is um, it is quite busy, isn't it? I mean, there's quite a lot of other trains. I think, I think when I did Lum Long Island Railroad the other day, oh, speeding again! I'm really not watching the speed, am I? Oh, I really am sorry. I, you know, I, I'm supposed to be showing you these routes, and I'm. <laughs> mucking about I might as well carry on the brakes because look at 600 yards I've got to be uh, 45 miles per hour and let's keep that brake on I feel 8 miles out we're just entering the outskirts of uh, sort of south London now alright that's got us down to 45 miles an hour um, although it's 8.5 it says up there on the top left for those not familiar with the game 8.30 miles an hour now oh, I need to really hang the brakes on there we go so how I know again for those who are not familiar with the game how I know is if you look at the top right of the screen where it says 60 miles an hour just next to that you see that that's just changed to 45 miles an hour it's saying in a in 100 yards or 90 yards, now 80 yards, I've got to be 45 miles an hour. So you, that's how I know what's coming up. If I was any good, like the actual drivers who, who drive these routes every day, they probably know where the 45 and 60 is. And at 300 yards, we can go to 60. When the back of the train passes, the speed sign, by the way, not when the front of the train passes. Um, yeah, that very much looks like I don't know what station this was, but it sort of feels like South London we're coming through. Yeah, I thought I picked a route without much stopping, but that's okay. The idea is to have a look at the route at night time. And, it, <coughs> excuse me, and it'd be interesting to see, um, I'm going to hit my head on that, um, and it'd be interesting to see uh, uh, Victoria when we come in. That should look nice. Okay, well, I quite like this route at night time, so, so this would score quite highly, whereas I found that, that the Long Island Railroad, which let's not forget is an older route, yeah, so, so they've had more experience with you know, creating these routes. I found that a little bit, um, dare I say, dull. Here comes another trend. So there does be a little popping on this route. You know, you can see the trees changing colour. Let's have a look at this train again. A nice colour, isn't it? As well, the red with the old, with the old blue doors. Oh, speed! The red with the old pill pool. Yeah, not only have you got to watch your speed with the brakes, but obviously when you're going. Again, for those who don't know the game, I'm sure some of you watch me do know the game. Um, but you have to watch your uh, uh, your inclines and declines as well, because you might be just below the speed limit, uh, um, but you're on a you know a decline, and you'll naturally pick up speed. 
is it me or is look that looks much brighter the rear cab doesn't it maybe I should walk down to the rear cab and turn that on then the, then the front has more trains but there's trains everywhere today oh, oh, I'm going to bump into someone's head here sorry it definitely feels like the light where was this where was this cab light feels like that's over there but not on this side it's just there so how do I turn this light on I do like the sound here it feels like there's something loose there making a noise isn't it yeah I wish I could turn that light on Have a big distant look now. I've been terrible today, haven't I? I I've been absolutely terrible. In my defence, it's really hot while I'm recording this. And maybe the heat has got to me. And I need a nice um, ice lolly. There's grass on this uh, black fork with this uh, station. Again, I, I, you know, like I said, I love, the, I love the way the light and the, sh the shops and some of the lights around the houses. It really does feel like, um, I think they've done a fantastic, look at that street, the street lights are more orange. Did you see that? Those street lights, let's see if we can find more street lights there. See how these streets are, look a little bit more orange. Whereas the lights at the station are much more white and people's houses are much more white lights. And then those sort of warm orange street lights that you get that looks more LED type light. I do, I, I, the light in the, the whole um, feels like a living sort of world. And I suppose if you were uh, someone, you know, that maybe felt a bit lonely, you feel like you're, you're doing something, didn't you? You're driving people to work or, well, not to work at this time of night. Well, I suppose some people work at night. I don't know who I, well, everyone in the world goes to work at eight o'clock in the morning, <laughs> comes home at six or, whatever or nine I have to go into London next week and I'll be getting the train into London myself I remember when I was younger when I first got my car and, um, and when I was, it was younger a long time ago now getting a car meant um, access to like girls I mean that's, that's really, it's terrible isn't it really it's so horrible but like like all the boys thought if I get a car and I get a girlfriend yeah um, and, and, I, and I did have a couple of girlfriends and I would drive up London I literally would and I remember I used to park like near Oxford Street and you, I don't even think you can now you park up and then just go, you know, wandering around in the evening, uh, whatever you whatever you do, and you know, go wander around and <laughs> now, oh, good lord, no, I'd, uh, I'd rather walk up London than try and drive up London. It'd be, it'd be certainly quicker. It'd be certainly quicker. I love these little, little cars. I do it. It does feel very like real, you know. As I said before, this game has has its flaws. It's not, you know, perfect by any stretch of imagination. I really like this route. <laughs> I could do a year of videos just this route all at night. Maybe I should have picked a route with a few more stops on it so we could look around the. Um, maybe we'll do another one now. We'll do another London commuter. Um, you know, if we don't tell anyone, no one notices. We could do two lots of London commute for the, for the routes at night. Um, but it really is gone. I'm not sure what's happened there. The tree seems to be cut off right at the top. Let's see, I'm going to go the speed there if I was unlucky. But you have to be careful. The other thing you have to be careful of in this game again for those that don't know if you look at the speedo down at the bottom right this, this route is so busy 
And I think that really helps give you the, the feeling that it's alive when there's just other trains coming and going all the time. Okay, so if you look at the speedo, and if you look where it says 51 miles per hour, right in the middle of the bottom right of the screen, I mean, now it says 52. What you'll see around there is next to that. Let me just apply the brakes a little bit. If I apply the brakes quite hard there, you see those red jagged lines. Let's go on, go like that. So that's uh, the wheels are, are locking. Yeah, because obviously what you've got is these big metal wheels running on these tracks. And if you brake too hard, the train is far more, and it, because of its weight, it's far more susceptible than a car is to locking the wheels. So you have to be very careful and it even simulates that now because it's cold because there's snow that will also sort of feed in i'm guessing because if i do this run in the middle of the day and it's sunny it'd probably be no problem at all oh this is are we going to go past battersea power station at night so it's always lit up it always lit up at night it should be lit up at night but that'll look nice that'll help give this a good score So obviously as we get there'll be speed limits coming into London. We're up at a very busy station. Look at this. Full of life. People walking around, me spying on them like some sort of um, weirdo. <laughs> and as I said, I definitely noticed it in the Dresden route. I definitely feel like that's further back in the distance. And you can even see, you know, the lights on the on the tower blocks. It all adds to the sort of like um, the feel of the route. I tell you one route I do like in the dark. It, it, it's just a little bit too dark. I like that Scottish um, Cathcart Circle. So I'm going to do one of those, sure, but I'm definitely going to put snow on it because obviously that lightens up the ground because it's quite dark that route. Right, so I've got that at 45 miles an hour. This is in 1.4 miles. I have to drop even further. So. 40 miles an hour. So we're going off this way. Where are we going? I thought we'd be going through there. Oh, I'm guessing. Oh, that's going to be going off to somewhere else. Brilliant. Brilliant deduction. <laughs> let's go in somewhere else. Well, clearly, let's go somewhere else. Quite a lot of greenhouses there. It really feels that like little corner shops. I do, I, I think, there you go, so we've got the old um, Bassy Power Station. I'm not sure what the red lights are supposed to be. I think they might be the cranes, we'll have a look as we get closer. I know when it's Christmas, I set this to January, didn't I? Let's have a look. No, I set this to December. I know near Christmas, it does the Christmas lights. Oh, I might have to unlock something on the Masteries, which I haven't done as yet. So I'm quite interested to see how good um, Victoria looks as we build. Still getting that flash then. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing those red lights, which all, which do add a bit of um, lovely colour. I'm guessing they're supposed to be on the correct. Look, there's two more trains coming out there. Yeah, they're shot the cranes. But certainly, if you come here and it's Christmas, it's. Um, I've seen Christmas lights on them. I'm actually not sure why it's not doing them now. Actually. There we go, over the Thames now. Let's see that at night time. We've not done this before. I'm not sure what bridge that is. I look at the reflection. You see the reflection of the bridge against the. That was very good. See, I'm, I'm a sucker for this game. Oh, red light, red light, red light. Oh. See, on the top, on the, on the, on the top right, it's telling me there's a red light in 200 yards. Can you see that? 198 yards now. If you go for a red light, it's just game over. That run has a waste of time. So I'll get up a bit closer. It's asking me to couple to formation. I probably just have to park for the end of the day. I literally can't remember how to do that on this train, so this should be hilarious fun. 
for those that do know exactly what they're doing. Oh, break. Which would be everyone except me. Right, I don't know why this red light here. We'll do some investigation in a second, but let's just come to a stop first. There you go. Okay. So what we can do is let's look at the track. I'm here. This is me, this blue four boxes, and this is where I want to go. Along this blue line here. So I'm guessing, he wants me to couple to this train here. Look, the star's on that train. So one of these other trains must be coming out soon. And it's going to come along here, so that's why it needs me to wait. So we'll have a look. Um, it hasn't given me a time. Um, in the meantime, we can have a little look round and wait to see whatever happens, happens. Do a bit of spying on these people in their houses. No, nah. they've got their blinds down. We can't watch them going about their business. That looks like it'd be some sort of trendy cocktail bars, restaurants, bubble tea bars. I think <laughs> I see bubble tea bars. Now I like my tea, and, and, and people who've watched my videos before will know how much I love my tea. I have no idea what bubble tea is. And, and maybe I should try it one day. I wonder what UBS stands for. And it's going to stand for something, in it? Well, I mean, it's, that's obvious. Any movement? Or oh, there's a train coming out now. We're seeing it come out. I wonder if that, that might make the difference for us. We'll find out in a minute. I wonder what that stands for. S could be system or station. It feels like there are two possibilities for it. Oh, off you go. Go on, get on your way. Although, I feel like he wasn't using my route. So we might be waiting for a different train to come out. Look, here comes another train behind. So maybe... Maybe he's going in first. Where's he going? Oh, there's another one coming out. Good Lord. So look, he's going in. Here's another one coming out. There's another one, and this one looks like it would have been affecting me. See the little bits. Of, it's those little bits of attention to detail that I, I think are fantastic. Well, don't come on my line. Will of carnage. There you go. He's going down next to me. Thank you. So we're going to keep an eye out. We'll see if that, up on the top right of the screen, that we're going to that red light's turn green before we can go anywhere. Um, he's off. They might have forgotten us. We could jump out and just walk the last bit, couldn't we? Let me try and um, proceed every step of speed. There you go. Look, the light's turn green. And I can go forward. There we go. I'm not sure what restricted speed means. Okay, so now, okay, so that's brilliant. And we just saw this route at night, and I did enjoy it, particularly this bit. What I'll do is for my next one, I'll do a German route to try and keep it, you know, and then an American route. I do have new routes to show you guys as well. We've also got to do that Scottish route. Yeah, I'm going to do a few more of these nighttime videos because I do, it's my preference. And then we'll go from there. I always said, do oh, I'm speeding, proceeding, restricted speed, I'm really speeding. Um, let's get in the cab. Oh, we didn't like that, did it? We got a bit. Oh, we didn't like that at all. Got a bit like. So, as I've said before, I always play. Is he going to change lines? I think he's changing over onto this other one. Yeah, he is. Okay. So we want to let's get down here. Oh, we'll hear the echo. Oh, that's good. Okay, so this is interesting. We've not done this before on one of my videos. As we put into London, Victoria. Right. So I'm going to slow down. Where am I? There we go. Now, I'm hoping it's just an automated thing, but we're going to find out pretty soon. I think that's quite a lot of speed. Let's take some of that out. Let's drop down. Oh! <laughs> no. I might have to 
jump out and do something. Oh, unlock doors. Okay, so everyone can get out now. Oh, hold on. They're also getting out of that train. <laughs> what? <They're laughs> this is the train I coupled to. And look, they've all been sitting there saying, what do you know we have inside, mate? They won't let us off. And they're only now letting them off. Okay. He's a bit of a dude, isn't he? Um, okay. Uh, that's, that's probably not a gold, is it? It is a gold. Look at that skill. <laughs> skill. Skill might be the wrong word. Right, okay, let's, um, let's have a look and see if we can have a look at some of the others. Let's continue, let's come out of here. What I probably should have done, we'll come back. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a, um, what we'll do, that's a good picture, isn't it? Uh, and what we'll do is we'll, um, we want something a bit more stoppy, that one. So we'll, later on, we'll do, we'll do that. But I think for my next one, so what these, I've got, that's new, I haven't even played that yet, and this one, I haven't played either of these yet, so, so we'll play both of those. But I think we'll do a German one, I definitely want to do this one, we should probably do an American one. I haven't even played that route, it's crazy. Well, this might get a German there. Isla White we've done at night, and that's the whole reason why we're doing these. London Underground, yeah, well, it's a little bit tricky, but... It's just a bit tricky because it's underground for the most part. So, oh, so I'm sure we can work something out. I'll, we'll get we'll get something going. You know, maybe an early morning run when it's dark. We we'll see what we can do. Okay, T's Valley Line. I pick that up in the sale. Okay, all right. Well, there you go. There's our um, uh, there's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, um, it's been lovely having you here. I. Um, I do enjoy doing these videos and chatting to myself. <laughs> I hope I'm not too boring for you all. Um, if you did enjoy this video, uh, 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 please uh, uh, give it a like. If um, if you like this kind of content, you, it's a pretty good feeling what the content is today. Yeah, if you didn't like today's video, uh, the rest of my channel is probably not for you. It's just me talking, and playing games badly, badly. Um, but if you do like this kind of content, then, then consider subscribing. And if you stick your notifications on, then of course you'll get to know um, when I put a new video up. Also, uh, um, if there's any other games you'd like to see me play, you know, I'm not a man of uh, uh, a lot of means, you know, so I can't be buying every new game that comes out, or any new game for that matter at the moment. But, but you know, we'll see what we can do, and I'm sure, I'm sure we can do, you know, look at other things as well. So if there's any games you'd like to see me uh, uh, try, and you can watch me... Um, play badly in those, then uh, stick a comment down below and, and, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Guys, as always, thanks for watching those those that stuck around. That's, that's, that's some sort of threat. Those that stuck around to the end. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like that. I mean, those that is to the end. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, it's been lovely having you. Take care of yourselves. But most of all, take care of each other. Goodbye now.